spend the next 15 minutes or so focusing on your back, uh, especially the low back. I know for me, I carry a lot of tension in my back and shoulders. And so taking a few minutes each day to open up the hamstrings, the IT band and the hip while the back is grounded on the floor will really help release tension there. So let's get started. We'll start laying down on your back and we'll start just by hugging the knees into the chest. So draw the knees into the chest, relax the shoulders down away from the ears. Breathe deeply. So you're grounding down through the back, but you're also getting a nice stretch in the low back. And then we'll just get a little warm up here by connecting with your breath. As you breathe in, let's reach the arms up and back, feet lift up towards the ceiling. And as you breathe out, let's hug the knees into the chest. Inhale, arms reach up and back, feet lift. Exhale, hug the knees into the chest. Option to lift your forehead to your knees. One more time, just like that. Inhale, arms reach, legs lift. And exhale, hug the knees into the chest. Good, so let both feet come down to the floor. Knees are bent, the right thigh, right leg is gonna lift. So you're gonna hold on to the back of the right thigh. Have a soft bend in the knee. Press the thigh into your hands that you release your shoulders down away from the ears. Low back is grounded down and supported by the floor beneath you. We'll let the left leg go straight along the floor if that feels okay. And pause here. So we're starting to open up the back of the leg, the hamstring. While the back is safe and grounded, this will release tightness and tension there. A nice flexed right foot. You're holding on to the back of the leg for support. And then breathe with ease. Relaxing the muscles in the face. You can roll the head left to right to relax the neck. And then try to keep a nice relaxed jaw. And then from here, a gentle sway left to right with that right leg. So start off small. You don't have to go too big here. Then we're going to unclasp the hands and pass the thigh back and forth from the right hand to the left hand. So the leg is just going back and forth, left to right, keeping both hips grounded down, low back grounded down, belly is in and strong. And we'll take the right leg and reach it over to the right. Left hand rests down on your left hip. Reach your right heel away from your right hip. You're starting to open up your inner thigh, your outer hip uh, while grounding down in the low back. Pause here to breathe, a nice flex right foot. Open through the chest and shoulders. Take a nice full deep breath in, and then as you exhale, we'll bring the right leg back to center, pass the right foot over to the left side, holding on to the back of the thigh with your left hand. Right hand supports your right hip, the right shoulder stays down. This is your IT band. This is the whole outside of the right leg. If you can find some softness here, you'll ease into the low back. So shoulders are down away from the ears, shoulder blades on the floor, reaching that right heel away from the right hip. Pause here. Breathe deeply. You can tilt the toes down a little bit to get a little deeper. Try to keep the right hip down. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, let's bring the right leg back to center. We'll bend the left knee so the left foot's on the floor. Cross the right ankle over the left leg above the knee. We'll draw the left knee in towards the chest. This is going to release your hip. Tight hips, tight low back. So if we can find a little 
ease through the hip here, you'll release tightness and tension in the low back. So let's have a gentle sway left to right with the whole shape of your legs. Then we'll pause a little bit over to the left. Draw the left knee into the chest. Try to release the right hip. Feel grounded down through the low back, relax through the shoulders. Take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, we'll release the left foot down to the floor. The right thigh will cross over the left thigh. We're going to scoop the hips over to the right, just about an inch or two. Arms reach away from each other. A nice spinal twist here to release the entire back. The legs are going to drop over to the left, slowly and gently. The head can turn over your right shoulder. Your tailbone and the neck are in a nice straight line. Breathing deeply here to lengthen the spine. We're creating space in between the bones in the back. Opening up through the rib cage. The spinal fluid is able to flow through the spine. And then as you breathe deeply in the twist, you can release tightness, tension, and stress from the back. You're open through the chest and shoulders and relax through the neck and face. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, let's bring the legs back to center, uncross them, even out the hips, hug the knees into the chest. We'll take three breaths together. Inhale, arms reach up and back, feet lift. Exhale, hug the knees into the chest. Option to lift the forehead to get a little bit more into the neck. Inhale, arms reach, feet lift. Exhale, hug the knees in. One more time, just like that. Inhale, arms reach, feet lift. And exhale, hug the knees in. Relax the head, both feet come down to the floor. With bent knees, we'll take the left foot up towards the ceiling. Interlace your hands behind the left thigh. You can let the right leg go straight along the floor. Pushing the thigh into your hands, you'll feel the shoulders relax down away from the ears and start to open up the low uh, mid back, the upper back, and we're grounding down through the low back. So releasing the hamstring helps release the tight muscles that connect to the back. Nice, deep, easy breaths. And then from here, just a gentle sway left to right. Starting off small with the left leg, you can get a little bit bigger. Then we'll unclasp the hands and pass the thigh from the left hand to the right hand as you just reach the heel to the left and then to the right and then we'll pause with the left leg over to the left supported by the left hand right hand holds the right hip down the right shoulder is grounding down reach your left heel away from the left hip opening up the outer hip and the inner thigh grounding down through the back Being able to breathe deeply, soften the knee if you need to. Take a full deep breath in. As you exhale, we'll bring the leg back to center. We're going to pass the left thigh into your right hand. 
Left hand holds the left hip down, the left shoulder stays down. The left leg does not need to go far over to the right to feel something. Your IT band goes from the hip all the way down to the foot. This whole outside of the left leg can be a really tight area of the body. So if you can ground down through the back here and find some softness there, that'll ease into the low back. Pause here, feel the center of your back on the floor. It expands as you breathe. Take one more really nice deep breath in. And then exhale, bring the leg back to center. Bend the right knee so the right foot is on the floor. Left ankle crosses over the right leg above the knee and then draw the right knee into the chest. You'll start to feel this in the left hip. If you flex your left foot, you might feel a little bit more. A gentle sway left to right with the shape of your legs. Just helps the blood flow a little bit more. And then a pause over to the right just about an inch or two, and then draw the right knee into the right shoulder. You'll feel this in the left hip, the left seat, opening up the space around your sciatic nerve. Really nice to let go in the back here. So stretching the different parts of the body while you're on your back keeps the back protected and safe from injury but allows us to really hone in on the back to release tightness and tension and stress. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, we'll release the hands as the right foot comes down to the floor. We'll take the left thigh, cross it over the right thigh. Arms reach away from each other. Hips are gonna scoot a little bit over to the left. That helps line up the spine. And then the legs will drop over to the right. Turn your head over your left shoulder. Full, deep breaths in and out. Notice as you breathe in, your right hip feels like it's moving away from your, I'm sorry, your left hip feels like it's moving away from your left shoulder, opening up through the rib cage opening up the whole spine, creating space in the low back, letting go of tightness, tension, stress that we may carry in the back. Take one more full deep breath in here. As you exhale, we'll bring the legs back to center. Uncross the legs, even out the hips. Draw the knees into the chest. We'll gently roll to one side and push yourself up to sit. Once you come to sit, we're just gonna bring the soles of the feet together have a nice big diamond so your heels are pushed way out in front. So not way in because that creates a lot of tightness and tension in the hips and hip flexors. We want to keep the feet out. Hands come on to the shins. Three breaths here together. As you inhale, lift the chin, open the chest, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hold on to the legs, tuck the chin round the back. Open up every part of the back, upper, mid, and lower. Inhale, press the chest forward, open through the front. Exhale, pull back, round the back, relax the shoulders. One more time, just like that. Inhale, lift. Exhale, pull back. This time, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinge forward over your open legs. Hands can hold on to the feet, head hangs heavy. 
Eyes are closed. Inner thighs and outer thighs are relaxed. Hips are open. Spine is lengthened. Let go of any last bit of tightness or tension in the low back, the mid back, the shoulders and the neck. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, slowly make your way up. Bring your palms together in front of your heart center. And hopefully you are feeling much better in your low back. And you can take this relaxed, open feeling with you throughout your day. Namaste.